Hi, my name is Quinn Ferrer. Uh, I'm a biomedical engineering technologist here at Sinai Health. And in front of me, I have some 3D printers. Um, starting from the left side, uh, this is an FDM printer. Um, it uses a um, filament that gets fed in, and it gets heated and then melted and extruded. It builds parts layer by layer. Currently being built here, we have a socket that's going to be used on a Philips uh, FMS rack to hand tighten. Um, this printer here now is an SLA printer from Formlabs. Um, currently being printed is a surgical guide for a maxilla. Um, these guides get made in a, a 3D program called 3D Slicer, um, which we use to edit, model, um, and create surgical guides and different devices and components uh, here at Sinai. So from the 3D printers, we'll get end up with a model that looks like this. So it, it's been cleaned, it's been polished, it's been finished. Um, so what we can do with models like this is we can see that there's a, a tumor that used to be here. Now this provides A, one for the surgeon, the depth uh, and size of the tumor, um, as well as if it's close to any nerves. Um, what we can do with this model as well is we can cut the model in half and mirror the good side of the jaw to the bad side to allow the surgeon to pre-contour plates before surgery and it saves them roughly 15 to 20 minutes during surgery. Um, this is a, another model that we're doing as well. So as I mentioned, the surgical guide that was being printed on the form lab. This is where the guide will rest, so located on the maxilla. And you can see it's a perfect fitment along the jawline. Um, the programs I was mentioning before, 3D Slicer. That are these two programs here that we do the uh, modeling for all the parts, components, and anatomical models and guides here at Sinai. So here we have a prostate model. So we use VR um, at Sinai to give a better depth to the model that we're looking at. So we talked about 3D printing the model itself. But here we have the physical model. Um, so I can hold the prostate in my hand. And using this, I can actually look into the prostate and I can see that the purple tissue here is the tumor. The red is the peripheral zone. The blue is the transitional zone of the prostate. And using the VR, I can give, again, depth to the tumor itself, right? So it just gives you a better perspective of the model and the anatomy of the, um, of the model that you're looking at.